Good morning, traders. Uh, good morning, traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, best uh, tips for using uh, the one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level like a, a pro. Uh, best tips for using one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level like a pro. I'm on a monthly chart of the British pound New Zealand dollar currency pair. And we can see that uh, this financial instrument went down from here. Uh, moment, please. Uh, from here, okay, it went down from this level down to this level here. So it went down from here to here and rally up a bit up to this point. All right, if we use a Fibonacci as a retracement, so price went down from A to B. Now it rally up a bit. We use a Fibonacci uh, retracement uh, to measure, okay, the retracement. How far the price rally up a bit, okay. So we use Fibonacci retracement uh, to measure, okay, how far the price rally up a bit. If you look carefully on my chart, the price rally up to thirty-eight point two percent. Follow my cursor. 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level right here on the edge of the red bearish trail line. So we have a 38.2% retracement, okay, after a bearish move. Now that we know the Fibonacci retracement, all right, we will now use, uh, okay, Fibonacci extension because the retracement is 38.2% level. Professional will set their target or will expect, okay, in normal condition, repeat, in normal condition, that the price will go down, that the price will go down to 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. Can you see 161.8% Fibonacci extension level? So, swing trader who sold, okay, the British pound New Zealand dollar at this uh, on the edge of the red trend line as the price break below breaks below this uh, support level. All right, it continues to go down. You see, very bearish. All right, the ultimate bearish target is at one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level. So, talking about best tips for using the one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level, like a pro, very often when a price, when we have a thirty eight point two percent retracement, and the price is going down, and uh, has reached uh, the target at one six one point eight percent level, a lot of uh, traders that were selling before will be willing to close the bearish trade. Therefore, they have to buy. So in order to close a bearish trade, one must close, one must buy back, okay, what one has already sold. So to close the bearish trade, we must buy back, okay? So they will buy in a zone of 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. So 38.2% retracement, prior reaches the target zone, bearish trader that was selling before will be willing to buy back by, by closing their bearish position. If this was in an uptrend, bullish traders will uh, sell, okay, at 161.8% level to close their bullish position. But there's something else I want to show you here, talking about uh, once it's 1.8%, Fibonacci extension best tips. Instead of uh, just buying, okay, because a lot of traders will be willing to buy here, a lot of bullish traders that were waiting will be just buying as soon as the price reaches the target level at 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. In this, on this chart, you can see that uh, the one six one point eight percent is the dotted line below the pink line. Okay, so one tip that you can use is that as the price is approaching the one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level, which is the price, the bearish target level in this case, what we will prefer is that the price continues to go down to that uh, 
161.11. But if we want to buy, if we want to look for a bullish trading setup in the vicinity of 161.8% level, one method that we can use is to wait for the price to bounce up a bit above another key level. Are you with me? So the dotted red line below the pink line is the 161.8% Fibonacci station level, which is also the bearish target level in this case. So if this uh, British pound, New Zealand dollar reaches that target level, a lot of bullish traders will be willing to look for an opportunity to buy, okay? But instead of looking for an opportunity to buy exactly when the price is touching the 161.8% Fibonacci station level, I recommend that trader wait for a, the first bounce up, okay? So price reaches the target, and then people start cashing out, price rally up a bit, and we want the price to break above another key level. So if you look on this chart now, the one is 1.8% is below the pink line. In this scenario, if the British pound New Zealand dollar breaks below uh, the pink line and reaches the one is 1.8% Fibonacci station level, before we can consider that we have a bullish trading setup in the vicinity of one is 1.8% Fibonacci station level, we will prefer that the prior rises above okay the next key level in this case the pink line you see it's another key level so we want to try to rally up a bit above the first and nearest key level in the vicinity of the one six one point eight percent fibonacci extension level so you will now just start looking for swing trading signal or day trading signal exactly at 161.8% Fibonacci station level because sometimes traders try to buy here and the price will continue to go down and they are taken out. But after they are taken out of the trade, the price will bounce up a bit to avoid that messy conditions, okay? It's better to wait for the price to bounce up, okay? and go and to rally up a bit above the first and nearest key level in the vicinity of 161.8% level. So looking at this uh, chart, we will prefer this uh, currency pair to continue to go down and to come near the 161.8% Fibonacci extension target level. After that, we will prefer it to go back above the pink line at 161.1 at 17651 key level, 17651 key level. So we will prefer something like this, breaks above the peak line, retest it, okay, and turn around, all right? So we will not try to catch, okay, a falling knife, so to speak. We will not try to, okay, pick, okay, the bottom of a reversal, or the top of a reversal in an uptrend. If we were in an uptrend, we would be talking about picking at the top of a reversal exactly at 161.8% Fibonacci station level. But we will be highlighting the first and nearest key level in the, key, in the, in the vicinity of 161.8% Fibonacci station level. And we want to pry. So if it was going down, we wanted to rally up above it, break above, retest that key level in the vicinity of 161.8% level before we will implement a top down trading method to trade it. If we were in an uptrend, all right, we will, and suppose this is the 161.8% Fibonacci station level in an uptrend. So the prior reaches the target level can be a little bit uh, okay. Uh, crowded here because a lot of people will try to sell because price was going up, reaches the target level and once it's 1.8 percent Fibonacci station level, everybody will try to sell, don't get into that game what I want you to do is to look for the first and nearest key level in the vicinity of the once it's 1.8 percent level because sometimes the price may continue to go up, everybody try to sell it, price resist it a bit and then blah 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 and finally the price, okay, what we wanted to do, if you find the nearest key level in the vicinity of once is 1.8% Fibonacci station level, sometimes you may have 
a nearest key level. Sometimes you may not have any key level that is visible, okay, near that uh, Fibonacci extension level. But if you have one, that's good, like we have here. The pink line is quite close to the 161.8% 1, 1 level. It's a key level. So we prefer to break below and then um, rally up a bow, retest. Then we have a bullish trading setup. The opposite is also true in an uptrend. We have a, no, a key level in the vicinity of 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci extension level. We want to, to break below that uh, key level that is quite close to the 161.8% 1, 1 level and to, to retest it. Okay. Let's start changing direction. Then we can declare that we have okay a bearish trading setup. So if you were in a downtrend and the price approaching a 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci station level, and we want to pick a reversal, it's better to wait for the first higher low in the vicinity of a key level that is near the 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci station level. On the other hand, if you want to pick a, a reversal at 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci extension level in an uptrend, we will prefer to pick the first lower high in the vicinity of a key level that is quite close to the 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci extension level. As always, if you learn something new for the first time, it's pointless, okay, to go and just use real money straight away to trade it, and then only to see that it did not work. The best approach is to test it and retest it, work on it until you master the trading method before uh, you go live. This video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. I hope you have learned something for this video also about the best tips for using the 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci extension level like a pro and will put into use to improve your day trading, swing trading and position trading. The 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci extension level is a price target level when we have a 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level as we have seen here price went down and rally up 38.2% level break below this low professional are watching the ultimate target at 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci extension level doesn't mean that the price will definitely reach the target but if it reaches the target the best tips around the target, once it's 1.8% 1 Fibonacci extension level, is to look for the nearest key level in that vicinity and to apply the method that we have already described. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about best tips for using 161.8% 1, 1 Fibonacci extension level like a pro. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.